Hi, this is a hygrometer. It's an instrument for recording the relative humidity of the atmosphere or the surrounding air. I use this one in the greenhouse so that I can control the air quality or the amount of moisture in the air for my plants. It's quite an old instrument made by a well-known maker. As you can see it's called the Edney Paper Hygrometer. It's in degrees up to a hundred where you can see on there percent relative humidity. It's English made. Now if it was to read 100 it would virtually be ringing wet because 100 is more or less pure water. At the moment it's indoors and it's reading it's actually dropping down. The reason being I heard on it with my breath and it goes up. I can show that it's hap happening. The reading at the moment is 66. We pick it up and I'll breathe on it. It's now gone up to 76. A bit of evaporation, a bit of more air, a bit of moisture there from my breath. How these work, or how this type works, at the end of the little pointer, look carefully and see um, which looks like a little spring. It's not a spring, well, I'd say it's not a spring. It's a piece of sensitised paper which if it becomes moistened or it changes it will tend to open up. Attached to the end of it get this lamp in the right place at the end of it the pointer is fixed. I'll well, just see it there. The pointers are fixed to the thing the middle's fixed so as the coil unwinds or closes in, unwinds or winds up if you like, the pointer is moved and as I say it's graduated within the range 20 to 100% and has on the sides there's got little ventilation holes or holes to which are open so that the air or, or the moisture in the air freely flows within the innards. Very, very basic. But there we are. I thought I'd put it in as an addition. As an addition. I've got lots of funny things like this. There are other types of hygrometers. Uh, there's one called Mason's type which consists of two mercury tubes, the thermometers, side by side. One has a wick on it which is dipped into water and the evaporating water changes the actual temperature and you have charts which you can compare the two readings and from that you, you can get the actual relative humidity. Another type is called a whirling type which you twist round like a football clapper thing which you which they use. You whiz it round and that will do the same thing. I'll show these at a later date but um, this is one today. Anyway, any questions please ask. I do like these instruments um, and as I say these are things which I do use. A lot of them are hung up on the wall, but this is one I use in the greenhouse. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any questions please ask. Please subscribe. And thank you again for watching. Thank you.